Because I have to download it from the cloud anyways, so that I can upload it to YouTube. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it was like two months ago or something. So like- I know, it's been a really long time. Uh, if you're just watching our YouTube videos, Nothing has changed. We're re Nothing we're gonna try the last mission over again, except in uh, easier difficulty. If you are following us in real time, you may have noticed that two months have passed and we're still alive. <laughs> we are, we're alive. It's We've gotten haircuts, but we're alive. <laughs> Good, actually. Thank you. Um, I was tired of the of COVID hair. It was too much. It was reaching like witch lady in the forest length. So uh -huh. get rid of it. <laughs> all right. So do you want to do all the city and road stuff or just like jump into the mission? Um, I have the city and road decks here if we want to do them, but I don't know. I think that we had to go back to town to um, resurrect. I think we did go back to town because I. I bought a bomb apparently. I don't remember buying this bomb, but I have a bomb now. Okay. And I have a jagged sword. <laughs> yeah, I think we decided we needed better gear. Do we remember what level we're playing at? Three, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> according to my according to my app, that's that's easy. Okay. It's three. So I think we tried to play it normal last time. I honestly don't even remember what level my character is. According to my app, your character is level six. Does that sound correct? Yes. Okay. Two level five cards. That's only possible if I was level six. Yes. Okay. That's been way too long, and I don't remember anything except for that this guy was really bad. It's bad. Oh, I'm shadowing now. This well, that's is kind of not good because if we don't remember the last time, we can't. We haven't learned any strategies. <laughs> I think I remember that our strategy did not. So I think what do we? Have? We just have to complete the. We just have to kill the Dark Rider. We don't have to kill all of these other people, and we we tried that. We tried to just focus on him and it didn't go well because meanwhile i was getting deaded by everything around the edges and then and then because so his his attack is like attack plus one for every for everything he step for every step he takes because he's charging at us mm -hmm. and then he disappears and so then like, he disappears yeah we have to you ha we have to get him we have to bait him so he doesn't disappear and then we can hit him and try to prevent him from hitting us. Yeah. But it's hard to do because <laughs> he, can... he disappears. Yeah. He's like, he's like one of the, he's like a Zelda boss in a board game. And that's, <laughs> that's a really hard mechanic because the reason it works in Zelda is because you're just as quick. <laughs> And like we've got this harrower and fester guy. That's one of those guys that can like summon things, isn't it? I think he summons four stamps. Yeah, yeah. Each of the he appears at each one of these uh spots. Mm -hmm. And one of his abilities is to summon things, I think. Yeah, move three, summon imp and attack. Mm -hmm. And then he disappears only if he hits us, right? I think so. Yes, immediately after it performs any melee attack. So what we were trying to do is hit him before he hits us. We have to go before him. Well, we have to. No, we can't because because he only appears at the start of its turn of his turn. Right, so right. We have to. We have to get him to appear, mm -hmm. not hit us, and then we hit him. Mm -hmm. and I think the following turn, we want to try to 
go as fast as possible so we can hit him again before he hits us and disappears. Yeah. We get two hits in. So at first we want to go second and then in the second we want to go first. Yes. Or we want to set ourselves up next to one of the places he appears, rotating around the board and whack him as soon as he appears. Well, but then we're just alternating hits. We want to get two hits right. every, one, every time he appears. Right. I mean, the problem is, is I can't control my summons. I can, but I can't, you know, like I can control them a little bit. So I can't even like set them up next to things to, to be hittable so that yeah. we could control him a little bit more. Right, right. Because they'll just attack, they'll, they'll move off. Yeah. But yeah. conceivably, if we can get him set up in the right spot and I've got the right summons out, you remember sometimes I can do like absurd amounts of damage because just all my summons go at once and whack the thing. So how many when hits is he has 26 you, hit points? When you mm -hmm. summon, it's a pretty late initiative, right? So that's yeah, it's, yeah. So like I have to go last so that nothing kills my summons right away, but then um Actually, I have a card now that lets me control them pretty much right away. But, and I do have a major stamina potion now and a minor stamina potion. That was the other thing I bought was the stamina potion, the bigger stamina potion, because we hit that next level mm -hmm. of town. Didn't we? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, well, let's take advantage of this next level of town and do a city. Yeah. Food and even prosperity for. Yep, oh, that's yep. Okay. So I've got I've got more options now. That I'm just just going to town and buying those things has dealt with several of the issues with my character. Okay. I drew event. Okay. I've been told you are the group to talk to if you want to get something done around here. You look up from your table at the sleeping line to see a rustic man in leather armor standing in front of you. This tavern may as well be your office due to the number of people coming through the doors looking for your help. You nod at the man and he makes his request. My brother went out hunting in the corpse wood two days ago and hasn't returned since. I fear the worst. If you are traveling in that direction, I hope you wouldn't mind keeping an eye out for him. Option A, demand payment up front before agreeing to look for the man's brother, or option B, agree to help the man in his search. I think we've determined we're lawful good right now. So I think option B. Okay, option B, the man thanks you profusely and gives a detailed description of his brother. If you find him, no matter the condition, please let me know right away. Add road event 65 to the deck. Okay, and then- And then destroy this card. 65. Okay, I'm going to draw a card. Number four. All right. You see fresh wagon tracks in the dirt as you walk along the road. You continue forward and begin to pick out a number of distinct tracks. They must be from a large caravan. Sure enough, as you crest a hill, you see a group of four wagons headed down the road in the same direction as you. You count perhaps three or four guards among them. Option A, approach the caravan and offer to travel with them until your paths diverge, or option B, attack the caravan. <laughs> you can either be lawful good or chaotic evil, but nothing in between. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we're gonna offer to help. <laughs> um, the merchants in the caravan seem grateful, though the guards eye you skeptically. After traveling for half a day without event, you head off down a side road and wave goodbye. The merchants express their appreciation with a bit of coin. Gain two gold each, and if our reputation is greater than nine, which I believe it is, yeah, prosperity is four, reputation is 20 gain one additional gold each. So we each get three gold. Okay. Oh, and I'll take it. 
remove and yeah ri uh rip it up destroy oh hey which i don't do i just put it back in the deck so that if i want to play again from scratch okay so three gold Okay. Yeah, six gold. Okay. So now we are doing this thing again, but at the easier difficulty. Yes. Are we going to remind ourselves of what's going on, or are we just going to try to defeat the guy? Um, Isn't this one where, yeah, Red Thorn like leads us in and then abandons us? He's like, yeah, you guys go. Yeah. So, in my app, we were already at level three. Did I set it last time at the end of last I, time? I think so. I, I think what we did is that we were like, <laughs> that sucked. And we just, we changed it to see what their, what their hit points would be, I think. Because we should be level four because it's the average level divided by two. So that's 3.25 round it up to four and then easy is minus one i think that's what happened anyway okay Yeah, because we need this last end of corruption before we go to the void. I'm going to change the lighting in here. It's making me a little crazy that I'm all shadowy. Nope, that's worse. <laughs> whatever you look okay to me it's just i'm very it's very shadowy in here it's my shadow layer i need some like uh non non-light blocking curtains to get rid of that haloing effect, but still have light come in. This is a room in progress. OK. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we have a lot of those. Yeah. We're, um, we moved into a very old house. And so every room is like a Pandora's box of, of bad things. <laughs> <laughs> but, These, the uh, green walls they were like this dark poorly whitewashed wood that like it just looked it looked like what you think of when you think of like a beach shack but like nobody wants that in their house like it's cute when it's <laughs> somebody's fishing shack not in your house right you know? so so we painted and now it's brighter otherwise you wouldn't be able to see me at all because it's just be like chic. sucking the light out of the room it wasn't shabby chic it was just shabby yeah pretty much kind <laughs> of like like you know there's that hermit that lives on the beach anytime there's a beach in like a novel or something like that like it, it looked like his house but like with multiple rooms and things and why why did you turn it into the crazy fisherman shack i don't know i what's, don't live on the beach what's the little bit of hope hope that you found in each room Oh, the little bit of hope? After, if each room is a Pandora's box, after all the crap comes out of it. <laughs> it's the, the, the view, you just have to like look out of the room. <laughs> One day this room will be okay, but until then I'm gonna look out the window. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, because all of the rooms have a really nice view. It's just a matter of like making the inside be happy and not like I do live in a place where most people spend all their time outside, but it is nice to have nice rooms inside too. Is the um, app readable? Because it appears really pixely to me. It's a little blurry, but no, I can read it. Okay, good enough. Um, all right, where do we start? Um, in the middle. Oh, are we reading the introduction again? Or are we just saying Red Thorn left us here to deal with? Yeah, I mean, I guess I think that's good enough. Red Thorn disappears into the mist as we shake our hands. Actually, Red I guess Thorn. we're redoing this and he didn't. We found our way back without his help. <laughs> I guess that's true. We found our way back without his help. We're still dealing with this like corruption in the woods which is this guy, which I just noticed he's got no head. He's the headless horseman. Yeah. I did not realize he had no head. Where's Ichabod Crane when we need him? Maybe that's who Redthorn is. Oh, maybe. All right, where are we going to, he's going to appear at A right here. And then charge right at us because it doesn't let us not be in his way. We can't put anything in between us. I wonder if that's the other way to deal with him is to just make sure we're on the other side of these bushes. I don't know. He has 26 health. Right. And he's going to have three movement. Yeah, and when he does the, the charge attack, he moves forward five and then attacks for plus zero, but the attack is plus X, and that X is how many spaces he moved. Yeah. But okay, so how do we determine when he appears again? Do we have to, we have to draw a card for him? Yeah, at the start of his turn. That's what I mean. How do we know when his turn is? Once we've picked initiative. So I do need to spawn him, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I can't have him not there like that, right? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we don't want to go second this time because if we go second this time, then he's just going to charge right in our faces and disappear immediately. No, we do want him to go. We do want to go second. He, but he's just going to hit us right away because he potentially, depending on what he draws, you know what uh, I mean? Because he can just move forward two and then just whack one of us or move. Yeah. One of us. I guess that's true. It's, there's no spot here that is out of range, huh? No, there's really not. Where do you want to be set? Where are we setting ourselves up? I was sort of thinking in this spot between the um, log and the bush. Okay. Because then I can summon on both sides. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds good. I guess I'll just stand right in front of the bush and prepare to get whacked. Oh no, there's lag on the other screen again. What? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Our time traveling camera is back. How did we fix it last time? You switched cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we decided that that was better than it was your face was lagging, but the that what camera wasn't lagging. <sighs> wow. I think wow, your camera just it, busted. Like it's just a long time. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh. So what was that about? I don't know, but now it's like immediate. No. Oh. Oh. If I move my hand away too quickly, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So if it gets stuck, I just need to reset it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
technology. Yeah, that's messed up. I mean, <laughs> at least the board is relatively static. Relatively, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so viewers, if you would like to get Mark a new webcam so that this doesn't happen again, <laughs> check out the donate button at the bottom of the screen that we don't have. <laughs> I think it's software related because I, I have okay. a nice webcam. <laughs> yeah. We need a Patreon. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't happen in anything else like in Discord or Zoom or anything like that. Don't know what to tell you. I don't Wait, have a webcam anymore. This is Zoom. This is Zoom, yes. It never happened when I just like talking. <laughs> I don't know. It gets confused because nothing moves. Maybe it's is does it have motion sensing? No. Maybe it's a setting in Zoom. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's, a That's a pain. <laughs> oh no! Don't do that. Oh, we got to draw these guys first. Oh yeah, yeah. So um, it also says all characters start with model, but we don't, right? Because we have the we don't get affected by scenario effects thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did we play with model on last time? I think we've just forgotten how to play. I think we played with muddle. We started with muddle. I don't know though. Or maybe we did we got muddled from something that happened on the road. I feel like we had a bad scenario, a bad effect going into it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's been a while. It has been a while. By the way, the number of people who have been asking me why we're not just using the tabletop simulator version of this is is quite high. And I'm like, because we can't touch it. <laughs> it's so much more fun to touch things. <laughs> yeah. Although when the app comes out, maybe we would use the app, the Gloomhaven app. Maybe. I think that's going to be a different experience, though, to be perfectly honest. It's not quite the same to like, I don't know. Those are upside down, so I can't tell what you're showing me. We can we can try tabletop soon later. I don't actually own it, though. Thank you. I've got it. Um, I don't own it either. It's on my wish list. If I mean, I guess I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to try it, but I like to, I don't know. I'm, I like feeling things. This is the one I'm doing. Okay. Jeez. Just put it over here out of view. How much you, hmm. Okay, I am doing God, this is such a stupid one. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it though. Okay, this is the one I'm doing. How did I have enough money to buy a bomb and a potion? I never have money. I don't know what happened. Remember two times ago or whatever, you opened that chest and got a whole bunch of money. Oh. I don't. Okay. I mean, it's in here and it's in the app too. I was like, wait a second. Did this just like, what happened here? And I looked in the app and it said I had it too. So apparently I went shopping. Okay. So we're ready. Yeah. Okay. So um, we've got, we've got a little impies. Um, these guys are probably going to go pretty late and they won't be moving very far. Which guys, the earth demons? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, they're not very speedy, are they? They don't look super no, speedy. No, I don't think they're speedy. Well, it says two, but I think half of their abilities are ones where they don't move. Right, yeah. We don't want to be close to them, I don't think, because they'll whack us hard, but... We might want And the Harrower and Fester guys are, like, yucky. I don't... I remember hating them. 
Yeah, because they have like retaliate or something. Yeah, retaliate. So we want to get them from a distance too, if we can. Mm -hmm. And the little imps have shield. And then the the boss is immune to everything, basically. Uh huh. Except muddle. I can muddle him. Right? Yeah, it looks like you can. Okay. Because I've got that guy that muddles. So I'll just muddle. Is he immune to cursing? No. I'm going to, I'm just going to muddle and curse and muddle and curse and muddle and curse. Because remember, I've got that void eater guy that curses the heck out of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've got my strategy. Well, Such as it is. That's half of us, at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we want. I guess we want to go before him and just move out of the way, right? Move away from A. Yes, probably. If that's I'm true, then I think I need to start here instead. Because then I can just run that way. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I think I'm just hoping to sort of stay near this spot because I think that if I do things correctly, I can like get around behind the bush if needed or the, or the log. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure though. So the trick is <laughs> I want to move like either move close enough so that I can attack someone or move like right here and hope that the the earth guy doesn't move. Yeah. We can also just hope that all he does is summon an imp. Right. If he does that, then I don't want to move too far away because then I won't be able to run up to him and hit him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's such a pain in the ass. Uh, geez. Okay. Oh, maybe. And I'm also nervous because I don't want to, I guess if I, I need to go before him this time, not after him. So I should probably not summon anything. I guess. Well, he probably won't be able to reach you. So maybe you can go last. He, if he moves three, he might not be able to reach you. But if he moves five. Well, then, then one, I just move one space away. So then he'll hit me instead of you. Great, but. And that way you can summon something. I mean. I think I need to get something summoned quickly. Yeah. So you you can summon something i'll just move one space away and that way if he actually does move and catches up to one of us it'll be after me not you okay okay i'm gonna okay I'm oh having... oh this will help this will help yes 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 i can go earlier i have 18. i have 32. You can go earlier? Yes, because I have a, I keep forgetting that I've picked up some cards that help me not lose my summons immediately. Well, but, okay. 
So that means I don't, I can move farther than, well, let's see what he draws. <laughs> yeah. It was more of a just in case. He is going before us. Um, okay, so first the harrower infestors move two and attack two. Okay, so the elite guy moves three. One, two, three, shit. Um, attacks me for two, draws a zero, so hits me for two and poisons me and causes a darkness. That sucks. I'm already poisoned. Ooh. Oops. But he summons a darkness. Yeah, he summoned a darkness. Oh wait, no, that's the opposite of what I need. Never mind. I have a card that with there's darkness, I could do more cursing. <laughs> I could just curse them forever. <laughs> All the curses. You should curse them forever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then that guy moved. Um, oops. Oh, the we gotta do the other the other guy though. Oh yeah, you're right. So he moves two, just like one two, like right there. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and then this guy does number two. In between moving and attacking a dark rider summons one normal force imp for two characters. So he appears mm -hmm. and summons an imp. No, doesn't he move first, move three, and then summons an imp? It's special two. In between moving and attacking. Yeah, you're right. Okay, move three spaces. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Yep. Summon an imp. He's going to disappear right away because he's going to yeah. hit you. I guess right there. Yeah. This is a horrible first turn. <laughs> and yeah. then he's hit me. He moved three spaces, so he's going to hit me for seven plus whatever. <laughs> oh, shit. Did he just kill you completely? Did you see that? Here, I I'll did. The thing over as a times two. Did he just kill you? No, I have I have 18 right now, so he would make me down to four. Uh-huh. But I'm gonna try to mitigate as much of that as possible right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh it would be four, but instead um I'm gonna use my tower shield. When damaged by an attack, gain two shield for the attack. So now it's down to 12. And then use my chain mail and next three sources of attack from um, you gain one shield. So that's down to 11. That's it, actually. So he does 11 hit points of damage to me. So I now have seven. Ooh, don't breathe. <laughs> Let's not do that again. <laughs> and then he disappears. He's gone again. He yeah, yeah, he disappears. Um, wow, what a, what a bastard. <laughs> We're going to have to play it on super easy. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and I thought I had a good first move. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on my turn, <laughs> I'm going to shield up. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and, then uh, and I can move three spaces. Should I even bother moving? He's gonna well, appear. He's gonna appear over here next, and then he's just gonna go like boom, ba -doop, ba -doop, and whack you again. So maybe you want to. No, I should move. I should move. <laughs> One, two, three. He's gonna move here, so I need to move back. He's gonna move there or closer because he could move five. Are we sure he can move five? Yeah, on his and special one. No, I don't. I have no way of seeing what that is. Do I? Can yeah, I it's right there on the screen. It says move oh. five, attack plus zero. Right. Okay. Okay. So if he moves five, that'd be one, two, three, four, five. So I need to be like here. 
something like that. One, two, three. I can move that that far. One, two, three. Or wait. One, two, three. Why don't I move here? Because then I can try to whack this I guy. I can't see because it froze again. Okay. I'm moving behind that guy so that I can whack him. Okay. Oh, except I don't need to whack him. I'm doing um, retaliate. I now have retaliate two. Okay. Wow. Okay. I guess that's it. It's your turn. Okay. So I'm going to summon my void eater to like right. Mm, here, I guess. Where? Uh, but next to me and the imp. Hello, three. And then I am going to move three. And an adjacent summoned ally also performs move three. And we're going to move, let's see, one, two, three, next to the that same harrower. And one, two, three. So that we're like right next to A. Because then he can't move and hit for so hard. Right? And he's going to appear over here. But then he's going to appear down here. I don't mm -hmm. know. That um, might be bad because now he's got, he had an easy path to me either way. Maybe that's not what I want to do. Hold on. But I don't want to be like over next to C, do I? Because he'll just appear and whack me and then disappear. Unless you go, no, yeah, you're right. Ooh, man, this is tricky. <laughs> no, I think it's I do. It's really hard to know what he's going to do. I think I'm going to go down towards C. One, two, three. One, two, three. No. One, two, three. One, two, three. Because this guy's ranged. I think maybe I he does one less damage to me. Because it's sub, move three, summon imp, attack minus one. Oh, yeah. So it'd be four plus three, and then minus one would be six. Double that would be 12. So it's actually two less damage to me. Because okay. of all patients, so I'm at nine. Oh, but you're poisoned. I am poisoned, so I'm at eight. OK. Hold on. Yeah, this is okay. I'm going to go one, two, three, actually, just one, two, and then one, two down by C instead. And that way he can't move very far to hit me. So, like, I'm next to the log, and then my guy is right next to C. Right next to C, yeah. So that way he can't go very far, and maybe we can whack him right away. Actually, the other way around. I'm next to the bush. He's because he's ranged. And I have more health than he does. Okay. It didn't switch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. That's a terrible turn. 
you know, for all intents and purposes, I'm doing magic. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, now the little imps. They move five and heal. Well, so they're all they're all gonna move five. We haven't done any damage to anyone, so no one's getting healed. But uh, would they move if they're not trying to get to somebody? I don't know. That's a good question. I think I'm gonna get hit by that earth demon. He's gonna move too. Yeah, on to see. Well, so the question is, do the imps move? Do they move towards us? I guess monster rules, they would. Even if they're healing? Yeah. This is a rule book. <laughs> this is the one thing about playing in the app is we wouldn't have to remember all the rules. <laughs> I guess that's true. Not on Tabletop Simulator, then you have to know the rules, but... Yeah, you still need to know for Tabletop Simulator. Mm -hmm. Is there an index? If you look at the back page, it tells you where things are. Except it doesn't tell you about monsters. Right monsters monster movement the monster will focus on the enemy figure it can perform its current attack against they're not attacking, so. Wait, if a monster does not have an attack listed, it finds a focus as if it had a melee attack. I think it still moves to us. They still move to us. As if they were gonna attack, but they don't. Yeah, that's what that suggests to me too. Which means the Earth Demon isn't going to hit you. Because this guy's going to go right there to be right next to you. Yeah, but then the Earth Demon's got uh, like an area of effect. That's true, I guess. Does he hurt his little imp too, then? I don't think it works against, I don't know. There's no friendly, there's no uh, friendly damage. I don't. Actually, I don't know if that, I don't know if he, if that works, because I don't think he can actually aim at me. Because it's like a weird triangle thing. So he oh. can aim like at these three. Oh yeah, you're right. He wouldn't hit you. So, yeah. okay, so that imp goes there. Mm -hmm. This goes to me, I think, one, two, right there. Yeah. This imp goes one, two, three, four, five. Sure, I'll buy that. This guy goes one, two, three, four, five, like right there. Your D is in the wrong spot, by the way. Where is it supposed to go? Like right here? Like one, uh, one up. Yes, that. Actually, he wouldn't go there. He'd go here. It's closer to me. I can't see it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Next to the bush. OK. All right, okay. and now the Earth Demon guys go? Yeah, so I think. He's not, this guy's not going to go after you, but he's going to go after me now instead, right? One, two. Oh, yeah. And hit me. Oh, no. <laughs> um, plus zero. 
So two points. Three points because you're poisoned. Three points because I'm poisoned, but then I use my chain mail and I have shield up. So just one point. Okay. Um, and then and he changes the, the darkness to a, to a green thing. Yeah. Um, but then he also takes two points of damage because I have retaliate up. Oh, okay, cool. This goes number six. Um, and then the other earth guy, I guess, just moves to this way like that. Yep. <laughs> is this... I, I hate this scenario. <laughs> it's, it's reversed. Is this reversed for you? Which? This, the board. No. It isn't? I don't know. It looks, it's the same as mine. <laughs> the monitor, I, okay, it's just reversed on that computer because that computer. It's doing the mirror thing. It's doing the mirror thing, but it's yeah. not actually being, I, I don't know if that's what's getting recorded though. Well, oh well. <laughs> I can just turn that off. I'll just make sure that isn't being recorded that way. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I can't do it while it's recording. So we're just going to let it go. OK. It looks fine to me. OK. <laughs> If it doesn't look fine in the YouTube video, then just flip everything in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we're in the next round now, right? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> Good grief. I guess I should try to heal myself or something. Probably. Or kill something. Yeah, I'm going to try to kill some stuff. He's going to appear, what, he's going to appear here? Behind the imp? No, he's going to appear at B. So I was already preparing for like the third round. He's oh, gonna, he's going to appear here. Yeah, right. back by the, um, behind the earth demon guy. Yeah, there. So I want to go last or close to last because I want him to appear and then I want to go over to him and whack him for as hard as I can, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, these guys are attacking me. Well, so I'm wondering if I do some, some fun stuff with my summons, if I can start picking off these guys back here. The, the only issue is that you are you keep getting hit and that if would be bad you go before me and your summons is are close to them like i am then they'll hit your summons instead of me that's true i'm not sure i can go before you though you're quick but i'm going to try to go as late as possible because i want to hit this guy okay well I'll do my best, but in order to use my summons to the best, they're going to need to be. Oh, shoot. Did we determine I can't summon if I don't have an adjacent hex to summon into? Wait, did the bushes count as blockages or are they just difficult terrain? I think they're blockages. But I don't know. I actually I don't know that question. The answer. I think you. Yeah, they're obstacles. I would assume you could still summon. They would just appear one hex farther away. Maybe not. Maybe I can kill this guy and then I'll have room. Okay. 
Unless there's a better thing for me to do, but I don't think there is. No, there's really not. All right, this is the best I can do. Wow, I really, you're right. I really don't have very many high cards. Ah, <laughs> uh, geez. And I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I have eighty-five. Oh, yep, that will work. I have fifty-five. And he has fifty-two. Okay, so first the harrower. Um, oh shit! They're gonna immobilize. And they're doing attack five. And retaliate. This is easy. Okay. <laughs> this guy hits me for five plus shit. Did you see that? <laughs> Flex again? <laughs> I think you just died. Oh, um, wait. Let me calculate it. So, five. Does the poison damage get damaged? Uh, get doubled as well? Um, we can decide in what order to do things. Okay, so the five gets doubled, so that's ten. Plus one for poison, minus one for the chain mail, so that's ten again, and then minus um, that's it. <laughs> so ten. So that's you're dead. Ten. So I would die. So instead of dying, I'm gonna not use my chain mail. And I'm going to lose cards instead of dying or instead of getting damage. Yeah. You only need to lose one, though, because it's one attack. Right. Um. Next time we're playing on super easy because I, this does not bode well. <laughs> Ugh. Dang. I, jeez. Mm, Okay, I'm getting rid of this card. Okay, so that was one guy. He attacked and then he emo does he so if I discard a card to make damage not happen, does that mean that I don't get immobilized too, or do, do I still get immobilized? Does it negate just the damage or does it negate the whole attack? I'm not sure what page is that on? It's like 24 or something, as I remember. Would it be under death or something? Um, I'm not sure. Character damage. Choose one card to lose. To negate the damage, any additional, any additional effects are still applied. Damn it! So I'm I'm immobilized, mm. um, which really sucks because that means I can't reach him. Okay, and then the other the other guy goes. Uh, the other guy doesn't move because he doesn't have a movement. 
Yeah. Okay, the imps go. They're going to strengthen all allies within range two. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then muddle all of us. Great. So just doing a quick look here. Um, this guy is not strengthened. This guy is not strengthened. Everyone else is strengthened. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. So, uh, geez. Number two is. Oops. And we're muddled. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and now he goes, this guy appears at B. Yep. And then moves to one, two, I guess. Yeah. And then it attack with the range three. Okay. I think I'm, I'm out of range. <laughs> wait, where is he? Right. Oh, wait. Never mind. I'm good. I'm good. I was well, miscounting. Oh, the camera is. That better? Yeah, that's good. Um. That's his turn. Okay. He's, he does not disappear because he didn't actually hit one of us, right? Well, and it's after a melee attack. So that one was ranged, so he wouldn't have anyway. Okay. And now it's your turn. Okay. So first my Void Eater guy goes and he shoots. Um, I guess he's going to shoot this guy over here rather than this guy here, because we want this guy to stay sitting on C. Because then that puts the, um, or do we? Yeah, no, that's good, because then he'll have to run around. OK. So he shoots at this guy for 2 plus 0. So he hits this guy for 2, except for that guy has a shield. So he only hits him for, oh, wait. He's muddled. OK, still plus 0. Um, so he hits him for 1. And then I am going to summon my two shadow wolves. Am I allowed to summon them like to here? All right, I guess summon. I think I, it has to be an adjacent space, right? Where does the, what's the language on the card say, I guess? It doesn't say. Hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, if there are no available hexes, the summon ability can't be used. It's oh. So I can only summon one of them? Well, this guy could have moved. Can he move? The avoid walker? Yeah, but he wouldn't. Because he didn't need to? Yeah. You can move and then summon. That's true, but I don't really want to move either because I'm right next to C. But if you, I don't know, you can move here and summon a wolf right there or something. Then the wolf will be right next to C. That's true. But then I can't do the other half of what I was going to do. So how much is one wolf worth, I guess? All right, I'm just going to summon one wolf. So right here. Um, what is that? Purple one. And 
one step three two okay um and now actually this still works so now two summit allies within range two perform attack plus zero with me controlling the actions um so um so the shadow wolf attacks this guy for two is he muddled the wolf i don't think so okay um for two with pierce of two plus one so he kills this imp guy that imp guy is dead is that the same one that your other guy was shooting yes and then um my other guy shoots this guy that's on sitting on C uh, for try not to kill him for two and a curse. Oh, I forgot that I cursed them. Mm. So Good. they've been cursed. How many times? This will be twice. Curse. Um, for plus zero. So minus one on that guy okay and a curse and that is mighty less exciting than i had hoped term okay the earth guys are going to move one attack four so this guy doesn't need to move he's just going to attack me um he draws minus one so it hits me for three minus one for my chain mail so it hits me for two um actually hits me for three because i'm poisoned so i'm down to four but he gets two points of damage taken off him because i retaliate and he creates he refreshes the green icon mm -hmm. Then the other guy moves one space, and that's it. And on my turn, uh, I'm immobilized, so I'm not moving. Um, wow, maybe I should do this. One, two, three, nope. Is, do you think it's better if I hit something for five or better if I just stun something. <laughs> um, you may want to stun that harrower guy. Because you can't He's kill more... him. You could kill the imps, but you couldn't. You can't kill the other guys. Because you're muddled. Hmm. If I successfully stun, does his retaliate happen? No, I don't think so. Because I can try to, I can stun the harrower. I think if you successfully stun, he can't retaliate because He's he's stunned. Yeah, uh, if a figure is stunned, it cannot perform any abilities or use items except to perform a long rest. So he can't retaliate or anything like that. Okay, I'm going to try to stun him. Uh, I have an attack of two, but I have to draw twice. Plus two or times two. They're the same. The same. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to add a wound to that as well. Okay. okay. So, so it's 
four points of damage plus a wound and a stun. Cool. Plus a wound. Where is that one? This one. And a stun. Eesh. I do not believe we're going to be successful. Let me put it this way. If we are successful, I'm going to be extremely surprised. This um, earth demon who hit me, I didn't draw twice for him. So let me draw one more time for him. No, nothing would have changed. OK. Um, OK, and then with my other thing, I'm just going to not do anything because I can't move. Shoot, do you have uh, a healing potion? Healing potion. Yeah. I'm going to heal myself for five points. So I'm okay. nine. No, so I'm not poisoned. That's all it is. Dang it. This, I'm, I think I'm going to die next turn. Hmm. I guess, I mean, I guess I won't. I'm just going to lose more cards. Yeesh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to try to help you, but I don't know how useful I'm going to be. Maybe next time we need to get into the corners as quickly as possible. Like this corner is pretty, pretty good. And then where I am is actually pretty good because he, there's like, I can, I can sort of like, I can get to a corner right now. Okay. That might be the way to go. I don't know. Because then, like, if you can get stuff in the way, like, if we can just keep the imps up in our faces and keep everything else away, because the imps are not very... Yeah, and then, well, and if we don't kill them... This guy is going to come towards us and won't be disappearing. And then hopefully we can just pelt him. Yeah. But I don't have very many ranged attacks. I have some, and I can get my summons like running all over the board, but it's definitely starting in the middle of the board makes things very hard. Mm -hmm. Where I am right now is, is good. It's a good spot because it's like, fairly well protected, but yeah. Okay, I have 23. I have 45. Okay, I'm going first. Um, I am moving three. One, two, three, here. Okay. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> and <then laughs> healing myself for three and causing a sun icon to appear. So I'm at seven. Okay. Um, Oh, and I'm no longer muddled, right? Because I drew two cards last. Yeah, I guess we're all unmuddled now. Yeah. But they aren't not unstrengthened. Only the oh. Earth Ball, Earth Demon, right? They haven't attacked yet, or they haven't had a turn yet since they've been strengthened. Oh, that's true. You're right. Just the just the earth demons had a turn since they've been strengthened, so they're unstrengthened. Yeah, so the the harrowers and the forest imps are still strengthened. Yeah, sad face. 
Okay, the so Harrowers are going to move now. So the elite guy moves two, um, one. No, he's stunned. Oh, yeah. The elite guy is stunned. Okay, so now he's no longer stunned or strengthened, and he takes one hit point of damage because of the wound. Yep. And then the other guy moves one space, I guess, just right here. Mm-hmm. And then that's it. That's his turn. Uh, the imps. Um, this guy. They, so they move and attack. Range four. So, and curse. Eesh. <laughs> um, does he move back so that he can get... Yeah, because so he doesn't have disadvantage. Yeah, which sucks because he's on covered C. Um, yeah. So he moves back and targets both of us because now both of us are in range. He can target two people. Mm-hmm. Does he curse us twice? I mean, he curses each of us, right? Yeah, I think yeah. he does curse each of us. Well, he has to Assuming he hits. Assuming he hits. Okay, so he draws... So attacking you, he draws a minus two. So, oh, but he's strengthened. No, he's no, not. He's not strengthened. He's the only one that's not. So all he does is curse me. Right. How do I curse myself? Oh, I just take it out of here and put it in my deck. That's how I do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, he draws a plus zero for me. So he hits me for one and curses me. Oh, but I have shield one. So he So he just curses you. He just curses me. Um and then the other two ends go as well. So let's see. Okay, so then I guess. Oh, this has a range of four. So that imp also shoots us. Um, I'll draw for you again. So this imp is strengthened now. It's going to draw plus zero or plus one for you. So it hits you for two damage and another curse. Dang it. And then... It's me for minus one or minus. Wait, does it hit me or does it does it target me or does it target one of my summons? Oh, you're right. Wait, the other guy would target your summons too, right? Not us. No, he would target us because he's closer to us than my summons. But this guy, these guys are all closer to my. This guy is closer to my wolf and you. Right. Okay. So he hit your wolf. But I think the curse still goes into your deck. It does because we share a deck. Okay, and then he hits me for zero, but he curses me. How many did he hit my wolf for? Two, you said? Yep. Okay. Sad face. Two curses in my deck now. I yeah. was supposed to be the one cursing everybody. And then, and then this guy is gonna move One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, this guy doesn't need to move. He's just going to shoot me and your wolf. <laughs> Dang it. Wait, why am I bothering shuffling? I'm just going to get cursed again. <laughs> so oh, yeah. I don't know why. I'm... Shoots your wolf for minus one or miss. So the minus one. So zero damage, but one curse. Ugh. Okay. And then it shoots me for plus one or plus one. So two damage, but I have that shield. Oh, wait, I don't have a shield. I have retaliate. So two damage, and then the last one should have hit me for one damage. So that's. So are you down to six? I'm down to four. Four. And another. Uh, Okay. That was terrible. Is there a limit to how many curse cards you can have in your deck? 
When you run out of curse cards in this pile, then yes. <laughs> Okay, but they're both no longer strengthened. <laughs> That's good. And now it's your turn. Okay. All right, so first my wolf, I guess he moves up on this imp guy here and hits for two with Pierce. Ooh, heal oneself. Does that heal me or the wolf? I think it heals the wolf. Okay, so he heals for one. Oh wait, heals oneself and then misses. So never mind, he doesn't heal for one. He does nothing. Mm. Awesome. And then um if that's a curse card, I mean is that one of the new curse cards? Yeah, it is one of the new curse cards. So that goes away. Started, yeah. And then this guy, what's his range? Range of two, one, two. Oh. This guy moves up one to there, shoots that same guy for, oh, nighttime. He, he does a nighttime and plus one. So he shoots that guy for, what did I say? Two, three, but that guy's got a shield. So he shoots him for two. Who's that? Seven. And curses him. Another curse card. Okay. And then I am going to play uh, one where he can move, move plus one and attack plus one. But I don't think he's going to move. I think he's just going to shoot that same guy. What's his range? Oh, no, I'm controlling the action, so I get to decide. So he can move up to three, actually. You might want to put him on C. Yeah. Okay, so one, two, onto C. And then... Um, and then he's going to attack for three. He's ranged, though, so he's at disadvantage, so I have to draw twice. So either plus one or plus one. So he hits uh, that guy nine for four damage and a curse. He's dead. Yep, super dead, dead. And then I am going to attack. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Ooh, I can hit that earth demon. Do you want me to do that? Cause it will immobilize him. And there's night up right now. So I can curse him. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to attack this earth demon for three, immobilize and curse. Heal oneself. I don't need healing. And a miss. Ugh. <laughs> what a waste. And it's not even a curse. It's like just my whiff, my normal whiff. <sighs> And then I'm also going to heal my wolf for two with one of my items. And that's it. That is it. Sad. Were, were you, I have a question. Were you still muddled or not? I was not still muddled. Okay. But okay. I, the Dark Rider has a special one. So he's going to. He's going to go attack my wolf, is what he's going to do. All right, right, right. I keep forgetting that it's on here. Move five, attack. So one, two, three. He moves three. Attacks him for four plus three, seven. Right? Yep. Seven plus one. Eight points dead. of damage. He's dead. Super dead. And he disappears. He's going to appear on C. Yep. Well, you can good. get onto that loot, then he can't move. Oh, shit. I've been forgetting to put loot down. So there's one here, uh, sort of two spaces from the this imp. 
and the harrower. Yep. And then, yeah. If you can get there, then he actually, you know what? Never mind. If you can get there, he's just going to appear either behind you or behind me. Well, right now he's going to appear on the loot. Yeah. So maybe you want to get like right there and block him. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know what you want to do. Um, I don't know either. Well, first, all right, let's move this earth demon. Um, so he's going to move and attack, but he doesn't need to move. So he's just going to attack me for two. And push you. Well, only if there's a green. There is a green. It got. It got my... renewed. It, it got renewed, not deleted. Okay. Um, so he pushes me. Well, let's see if he hits me first. Yeah. Yeah, he misses. Okay, never mind. He doesn't do anything to you. The other guy moves one space. Bing. Mm -hmm. And now it's the next turn. So. Oh no, he used up the green, right? Because uh, yeah, he just used up the green. Well, but he missed. So did he still use it? I don't think he did actually, because I missed and I didn't use up the. Then I couldn't use up the nighttime. So the green is at half full. <laughs> it it was at half full. It's now oh, so at, it's at now it's at nothing. Yeah, now it's at nothing. Okay, so it's it's where it's supposed to be. Um. Ugh. So ideally, like, I would move here, and then the Earth Demon would move before the Dark Rider appears or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I have 48. I have 13. I think I'm going to die this turn. I guess that's not true. I just discard a card again. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Okay, you first. Okay. So... Oh, I probably didn't want to go early. I probably should have gone late after he appears. Shoot. What's his range to? Well, but he's going really late, 73. Yeah, I still could have gone after him. Okay, well, I guess this guy goes and he's going to move, unfortunately. And go one, two to behind you. And he's going to shoot that earth demon guy. Actually, no, that was correct. He's going to shoot the earth demon guy for two and a curse, for three and a curse. So that guy just took three. And another curse card. Okay. And then I am going to summon uh, my skeleton guy onto C. That guy's dead. Has been for a while. Look, you totally blocked him. Um, 
the guy's going to appear on the loot and not be able to reach either of us. <laughs> yes. Okay. I totally planned this. I definitely didn't mess up my turn at all. And then um, I'm also going to... The problem is, is that we can't hit him. So he's just going to hit my guys and then disappear. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to decide where to put, whether I should just hang out by C or go try to defend one of the other spots too. I don't know. He's going to appear on D. I, I think we should just hole up. We should just hole up in one of the corners and force him to come to us. Okay. Yeah, I think I think we should just stay here. So I'm gonna move back one. And I'm going to summon my thorn shooter into that space that I just was. And that is my turn. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to use my major stamina potion so that I can take another turn, two turns. Wait, what? There. Actually, I'm gonna use both stamina potions. There. <laughs> I got my whole deck back, basically. Okay, the forest imps move and attack. Um, they have a range of four, so this guy is just gonna shoot. Who should he shoot? Either your, one of your two summons. Or one of your, which of your three summons should he shoot? Or me. Or me, I guess. I mean, wait, does he shoot whoever's closest? Because I'm closest. Or does he shoot whoever has the lowest initiative within range? That, because it, since we're all in range, he shoots whoever has lowest initiative. Okay, so which of you or your summons does he shoot? Me, I guess, because I have the most health. Okay. So he shoots you, draws a whiff. Yay! Um, that's, oh, and there's another guy. One, two, three. I'm within range, so he shoots me and draws a plus one. So he shoots me for three. Yeesh. <laughs> Are you going to discard a card or just be down to one hit point? Uh, I think I'm just going to be down to one hit point. Okay. Whoo, man. Okay. Then the Hellers, Uh This guy, first off, this guy takes a point of damage because he wounded. Indeed. Then he's going to move three, attack two, target two. One, two, three. Attack me for two. He could also move one, two, three down to here, which he probably would. Oh yeah, he would. Attack you or your summon. I both, because it's target two. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, so you first, plus two. Ugh. So four points of damage. Okay. Is there a darkness? There is six points of damage and disarm Ugh. and i'm disarmed and no so more i darkness. can't attack on my next turn is that what that means yeah uh, um and then against the other guy plus zero so two points of damage against the other against your summon okay oh no that killed my summon mm -hmm. Dang it. 
and then the other harrower moves one, two, and attacks you as well. Draws a whiff. Okay, good. The earth demon, this guy, hits me for two points. Minus one hits me for one point. I guess I have to discard a card. You don't have an email anymore? No, I've used it. Up. I haven't refreshed it yet. Because I forgot to do it last turn. Um, um, geez. I guess this one. Okay, there's that guy. The other guy moves three. Hey, at least the harrowers blocked them, blocked him from hitting you, from reaching you. Yeah. I think he comes towards me because that's the only path, clear path. Yeah. One, two, three. And now it's my turn. I am going to um, whack this guy for five, no, for six. OK. I'm making the sun disappear. Or I guess I should have to hit him first. Six plus, yeah. So I hit him for six and make the sun disappear. And he's dead because he had six. Cool. I gain XP. And then I'm going to shield up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He's not dead. He has one hit point. Why is he not dead? Because this ability where I have retaliate um, mm -hmm. means that oh. I do minus one damage. Oh, but I forgot to retaliate him, so he is dead. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so he is dead, but because of the retaliate and then my attack, not because of just my attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's my turn, I believe. OK. Let me, OK, I'm using this to refresh my three items. And then I'm going to use this stamina potion to get three cards back. I guess. Jeez, I don't know what to use. There. Okay. Now it's the Dark Rider's turn. Um, so he appears here and then does move zero and attack for four against one of the summons. Which one should he attack? Um, he should attack the void eater guy because so the one behind you because that guy can take the hit. Okay, so he gets four plus zero, four points of damage. Okay. He's not dead, or is he not dead? dead. Not Ooh. dead. But then he disappears. Yep. Bye bye. Um. Now it's the next turn. I need to heal myself.
Okay, I have 23. Um, I have, I guess, 55. Uh, Dark Rider appears first. So he appears at D and does the move and um, summon an imp thing. So, well, you can't get to anybody at least. Okay, so the summon an imp, it says in between moving and attacking, but he can't attack. So there is no in between. I think he attacks the air. Darn it, okay. That makes sense, because that's what we've been saying this whole campaign. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he moves three. One, two, three. Summons an imp, I guess, right in front of him. Yeah, I guess. And then attacks the air. Um, okay, we haven't even hit him once. No, we have not. All right, my turn. I'm going to heal myself for three. So I have four again. Yay. Cause a sun icon, sun mana or whatever. And then I'm going to move two spaces onto here. Might as well take some loot home with you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't move two spaces. Um, Why not? Because my shield ability gives me negative one, minus one movement. So I actually can only move one space, um, which is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really sucky. Because I don't want to move next to them, right? Oh, it doesn't matter. He's not going to attack the, the golem guy. The earth demon. So yeah, I will move forward one. I'll just grab this loot. Okay. Because yes, you're right. Might as well grab loot. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's it for me. The harrowers um, move and attack. So uh, the first guy doesn't need to move Wait, if they can target two, is he going to move so that he can target two? Yeah. OK, so this elite moves between you and the summon. And then attacks you, misses. Hey. Attacks your summon with four negative one, so three points of damage. My summon is dead. Dead. But he, this guy also takes one point of damage because he has a wound. So he's not down to 10. Eventually he's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> then the other guy, uh, I think, just stays where he is and hit, tries to hit you. Yeah. Draws a whiff. Sweet. The earth demon, this guy, is not hurt, so he doesn't heal himself. And there's no there's no green. So he doesn't do anything else. Um the forest imps. Ooh man. They move five and heal two. So let's see. Who's hurt? This guy's hurt. Yeah, that guy's hurt. One I've heard the imp is hurt. Right. Hmm? This imp is also hurt. Yeah. Okay, so this imp is just going to stay where he is and heal himself for two points. Okay. The other two imps, I think, are going to converge on this guy and try to heal him. He doesn't yeah, need... They, they don't... They move towards us, not... Oh, yeah, you're right. Do you think they will move as much as they can towards us? Probably, yeah. Okay, so this guy moves here, but he heals this guy. For two points. Yeah. No, he heals and his wound is gone really, now too. Gets rid of the wound, right? Yeah. 
it heals it heals and unwounds it's poison mm. that takes a whole heal oh that sucks mm -hmm. okay so then and then the other guy moves i guess to me one two yeah but he okay. is not in range of him so it doesn't heal him okay and now it's your turn mm, shoot <laughs> Okay, so this guy, my void eater guy, it's a range of two. So I guess he moves. Onto the loot. And shoots this guy for two and a curse. For three and a curse. So one, two, three and curse. And then I am going to see move plus zero. He's not within range. Okay, well, I am going to hit this imp for two points plus zero minus one. So I hit that imp for one whole point. And then I am going to. Wait, where's there? Go ahead. Sort of zoning out. Before you'd hit that imp, did you curse someone or, or what happened? I, I um, my void eater cursed and hit this guy for a bunch. So he's now down to nine points. Okay. And cursed. Okay. And Sorry. cursed, yeah. Okay. And now um, I'm going to attack three. Range three and immobilize. I was going to use my bomb, but there's nobody there to, to use the bomb on. So never mind. So attack three, range three, and immobilize the bad guy, the really bad guy. Oh, he can't be immobilized. So never mind. So attack three, range three, plus one, attack four. I hit him for four. We've done some damage. <laughs> And that's my turn. I'm gonna get wiped out on the next turn. Wow. Okay. <laughs> next round. Yeah, one, two, three. So, okay, so at least he can't reach us because all his minions are blocking the way. Mm -hmm. That My guy is moved. He's on the loot now. This guy? Yeah. No, just on the loot, yeah, there. Okay, I think I'm, I think this is very foolhardy. <laughs> foolhardy is our middle name. <laughs> yeah, this is dumb. I was going to try to do something, but I don't think I can pull it off. So I, I have 18. I have 13. Shit, he moves first. He got two. He shields up, does retaliate and has a range of three, but he doesn't move. Oh, wait, sorry. I'm looking at that. The Harrowers shield up, retaliate, range three. They don't move. They don't attack, though. So these guys just don't do anything. They just stand there. and Just, don't. like, got shielded and more retaliation. Yeah. All right, I won't hit him. And now it's your turn. OK. I am moving and jumping all the way into the corner. One, two, three, four into the corner behind my guy. And then, oh wait, first my guy goes, hold on. First my guy goes and he shoots this harrower again for two and a curse. 
for three and a curse. So three more points off. The, the harrower now has shield of two. So just one more. Point. Oh, so one point off. Oops. And then the harrower also has a retaliate of two, a range yeah. retaliate of two. Oh, yeah, range three. Shoot. Well, I have no control over my dude. So he's dead, I guess. Dead, dead, dead. Okay, now I move into the corner. Ugh. Sad face. And now this is totally useless. And I attack the air, I guess. That was terrible. Okay. Okay. Sad. Uh, on my turn, I am gonna. Wow, what can I do here? I could either attack and stun somebody, which might be a good idea, or I can bless you. <laughs> uh, either way, <laughs> um, I think attack and stun is better because you're really low on hit points, still, aren't you? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to attack this uh, Earth Demon for two points plus one for three points. Oh, minus one because of this ability. So two points, but he's stunned. Okay. One, two, and stun, stun. And then I'm going to shield up and move three. One, two, I'll grab this loot, sure. So now I have two shield. Okay. Oh shit, um, I grab the loot. Because I can I have minus one movement because of oh. this. Shoot. I move two spaces. Can you can you reset the thing? Cause it's I can't see your there we go. Okay. I think I'm done. Okay. <laughs> okay, the imps have a movement of four and attack one, range four, target two, and poison. Yeesh. <laughs> oh, poison. All right, let's do this guy first. We're both within range. One, two, three, four, yeah. So he just shoots both of us and tries to poison us. Okay, so um, I'll do you first. Plus one, so two points of damage and poison. Great. And on me, he does the same thing, two points of damage and poison. Um, oh, I forgot I was disarmed on that last one. Good thing I didn't do anything. Attack the air. You tried to attack the air, but you couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I punched the air. <laughs> I'm gonna take poison and use my shield. So I am poisoned. Um, okay, this imp, one, two, three, four, same dealio, attacks you for plus zero, so one point of damage. Two points, because oh, I'm poisoned now. Poison. And then attacks me for minus one plus one, so one point of damage, um, which I'm going to negate with my chain mail. Okay. And then this imp, same deal. One Wait, one. did you need to? I thought you have a shield. The shield is just one attack. It's just okay. for one attack. Um, I drew a plus two, so three point four points on you. Four points on me. Yeah, because you're poison. Ugh. And plus one for me, so that's three points on me. Uh, I have to lose cards. Dang. Oh, wait. You're right. 
I do have the shield shield, like a, an ability shield. Yeah. I don't think it helps though, because this would be more damage than I can do you take. One, two, how much was it? One, two, three, minus one, minus one, minus one. Oh, I can take it. Never mind. I take zero damage. Okay. Um Okay. And now it's the Dark Rider's turn. Movement of two. I guess he just moves on to the loot, right? Yeah, I think so. Attack minus one, range three, target two. He can't reach us. Nope. So then the Earth Demon moves one. Let's put him on A. And attacks the air. Okay. And now it's the next round. No, oh, he's stunned. Didn't you stun him? He's stunned. He, he didn't do anything. Stunned. He didn't do anything. But he's no longer stunned. Okay. And I have to take a short rest. Okay. You know what? I definitely took a short rest too. <laughs> oh, I lost my stun ability. Okay. We, 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 I mean, yeesh. we killed one earth demon. I think that's about all we can say, really. <laughs> We killed some some uh, sprite things too. Oh, yeah. But they keep spawning it. That is true. Um, geez, those imps are a pain in the ass. Okay. Uh, should I go out in a blaze of glory or what? That's sort of what I'm planning to do here. Although who knows, maybe we'll luck out and get one more turn out of this. Maybe, but probably not after what <laughs> I'm about to do. <laughs> I've got 18. I have 32. All right, me first. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do anything. I am going to use my winged shoes. Okay. Hop over the bushes. Uh huh. And then and shield up. And then attack him for five. Okay. Watch me draw one of the curse cards now. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Why did you jinx yourself? <laughs> that happens every time you try to do like a big move like that. It happens every time. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty yeah. true. <laughs> And now I'm gonna die. Like it's so <laughs> it's <your turn. sighs> No, not right now, May. I lost my tooth. Good. I don't need to see it. May lost her tooth. Mm. How many more teeth does she have to lose? Most of them. That's only the third tooth. Okay, so is it my turn now? Yeah. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm going to attack the same harrower. I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to shoot him for three, and immobilize. Times two, six and immobilize. And that 
brings him down to two points. And he's also immobilized. And then I'm going to shoot him again for three. Plus two. He's dead. Woo! So now he can't shoot you if he was going to shoot you. Was he going to shoot you? I don't know. Maybe not. But he's dead. I feel pretty good about that, even though even though that's not useful. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hit him, so I figured I'd just take out somebody else. <laughs> okay, now it's my turn. Oh, geez. Okay, so this guy is going to move one. Where should he move? I guess he's going to move towards me. Although he can't hit anybody, so I don't know. I think he moves towards me because I had higher lower initiative. Yeah, but he can't. So I know, but well, he he go he takes a path that he can take. So he's just gonna move one that way, I think. That's true. Wait, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yep. That's what he does. That's the shorter of the two paths. And then he does nothing. Uh, nothing. And then the imps all have healing. Is anyone damaged? Yes. Um, so that one imp gets healed. Yeah, he heals himself. And then how how what's their range on the heal? Three. And then the other two heal the bad guy. Mark Ryder, right? Yeah. Oh, actually, I guess that one heals the earth demon instead. Yeah, it heals the earth demon. We can choose which one this guy heals, right? Yeah, I guess. Well, this guy heals the Earth Demon for two. Oh, that's maximum hit points, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Dark Rider gets healed for two. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Okay, Earth Demon moves three, attack two. He can hit me. He can hit me. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, he can walk through his imps. So he goes to me, draws a plus one, hits me for three. Uh, what do I have here? I have two shields, so hits me for one. Plus one because you're still poisoned. Yes. So it hits me for two. I have four hit points, so I'm down to two. Okay. So we got to hope for a curse card for the Dark Rider. Yeah, and now my chainmail is all used up. Um, okay. So oh, I've got a... Doesn't need to move. Attacks me for five. No. Attacks me for four. Right? Yeah, four. Four minus one. So that's three minus one is two plus one because I'm poisoned is three. I have two hit points, so I have to lose cards. Bye. Okay. And then he disappears. And now it's the next round. He's going to appear over here on E. Okay. This seems extremely difficult. <laughs> it does. Okay, I have. Oof. Twenty-two. 
23, I guess. I have 13, but you're not going to like it. Okay, you first. Okay. So I'm recovering up to four of my lost cards. And then I'm attacking the air for two. But I can play for a few more hands. <laughs> <laughs> I am healing myself to get rid of the poison. Then I am moving two spaces. One, two. Wait, wait, what's the derm demon doing? You. I'm moving just to grab this loot that's right there and staying in melee of the demon so that he can get, so that he has disadvantage. Oh, good call. Uh, and that's it. The Herer Infester uh, attacks me with that beam weapon. and draws a plus zero, so three points with the beam weapon. <laughs> I have to discard card again. I have to discard two cards, my discard. Let's get rid of this one and this one. Okay. Um, the imps. Are you about to be exhausted? Yes. Um, the imps have moved four, attack two, range four. So let's see. Do they? So he can attack you without having to move, without being at disadvantage. So does he just do that, or does he move one space so that he can attack me? I think he just attacks me because. He doesn't have to move. Okay, so this guy shoots you with a plus zero, so that's two points. I'm still poisoned, so it's three points. Okay. And then the other two guys shoot me. Oh, no, they you have lower initiative than I do. Mm -hmm. They all shoot me. Yeah, they're all within range. So the other two guys shoot you as well. One guy draws a plus zero, so that's three points again because you're poisoned. I'm going to to lose a card. The other guy gets also a plus zero, so another three points. Mm -hmm. I'll just lose this card too. Okay, and then the earth demon. Um, has a range of four. You're out of range, so he's going to attack me at disadvantage. Draws a whiff and a whiff. Damn it, we wasted a whiff. Um, <laughs> Dang. <laughs> the Dark Rider appears at E mm -hmm. and then moves five. He can hit me. He can hit me too. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, he goes for you. Oh boy. So he's going to try to hit you for nine points of damage. Yep. Draws a whiff. Phew. <laughs> so, I mean, he doesn't disappear either, right? Uh, no, I don't think he does. Okay, um, four points of damage to him. <laughs> it says after a, he performs in a melee attack, though. Is that even if he misses? I don't know. A whiff is like. It's like you fell over drawing your sword. <laughs> I would say. I don't know. Thank you. 
Where's stupid whiff cards? On page 11, it looks like. Oh, I didn't scroll back far enough. No damage is done by the attack. I don't know what that means. I feel like maybe we've been playing wrong then. Because <laughs> we've been suggesting that that's an entire, entirely a miss. Mm -hmm. I don't think he disappears because he didn't actually, he whiffed. Yeah, I think he didn't do a melee attack. I think he just didn't do anything. Okay. I guess it really doesn't matter because we're like totally losing this. <laughs> yeah. But um but yeah i think he stays there and now it's the next round i'm gonna do a, a short rest real quick me too this is my very last turn by the way um this is not my last turn except for it probably is because i'll probably die darn it I lost my heal card okay my chance to do another blaze of glory. Wow, I can actually reach him. One, two. No, no, I can't reach him. Bummer. Okay. So I, I have uh, 23. I have 55. Okay. The horror. Hmm. Um, God damn it. Attacks and immobilizes me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe oh, so. it'll be a curse. <laughs> Attacks me for plus one, so that's six points of damage, which is totally going to kill me. And I am going to basically die because I don't have enough cards to discard. Oh, okay. Sad. Dead. I'm dead. Um, so that's my turn. The Earth guy moves three, attack two, so he's going to go. Five. I guess go this way. One, two, three, onto this loop. Okay. The dark rider is gonna not have to move. Attack you for minus one, so that's three. But it's at range, so he's also at disadvantage. So he uh, actually he move, cracks up right? one. He moves back one. And shoots me for for four. Wait, so it would be right four plus one minus one, right? Yeah. Okay. Draws a plus zero, so four. Okay, I have to lose a card. <laughs> Throw away that one. Okay, and now it's your turn. Okay. So I'm slumming it, slumming. I'm summoning my slime spirit. Say that five times fast. Slumming my slime spirit. Yes, between me and the dark rider. Because he didn't disappear because it was not a melee attack. Right. And um, and then he attacks. Okay, so that's what two points of. 
All right. Um, so then my slime spirit attacks for, uh, oh, great. One and muddle. Plus one, two and muddle. So the dark rider is now muddled and down to 22 hit points. And that's my turn. <laughs> ah, great. So okay. much fun. Three forest imps. <laughs> are gonna shoot, I guess, your slime. No, they could all shoot me. They could shoot you. Who would you who would you rather they shoot? My slime, because he has a shield. Okay, so this guy shoots your slime. Draws a plus zero, so three points to your slime. Minus whatever the shield is. Uh so just one point to my slime. Okay. This guy draws a minus one, so zero points to your slime. Mm -hmm. The other guy draws a minus one as well. Doesn't do anything. OK, sweet. Next round. All right. This is my last turn because I am pretty much, well, actually, no. I can do one more turn after this, but I'm probably going to die because I won't be able to discard. I would suggest you just go get that loot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing, except for I have to go like way late. So I'm going to probably die before I get to go get the loot. Oh, sad. Yeah, so 82. Mm. OK, um, the imps are all shielding up. And healing themselves, so they all do nothing. Okay. Terror has an attack to range three. I'm not in range. Great. So he does nothing, but he heals himself. He's not hurt. The Dark Rider move three. So uh, the Dark Rider attacks your slime. He's muddled though, so. Okay, so he draws. I'll move this over. He draws. A whiff or a whiff. Darn it. We, we did a whiff again. <laughs> Those curses are handy, though. They're really useful if I can get them out early, which I didn't. Yeah. Okay. The earth demon moves to and attacks you. One, two. So I can't get the loot. Bummer. Hmm. He attacks you and draws a times two. So, so I, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so we have to play this on super easy, apparently. I think so. But I think the strategy is I think we need to beeline it as fast as we can to a corner. Yeah. That was a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, as quickly as we can so that they block themselves up. Because otherwise, they all just come charging at us. Yeah, maybe this corner or this corner, because there's only one way into this corner or this corner. Um, I like the, the corner by E, because then there's, like you said, there's only one way, and it's more blocked up, whereas the other, the one by B is like kind of wide open. The, the thing is, though, is that this corner where we tried is like the most blocked up. It's just, it's got multiple ways, but it's like there's, they can't, although if they've got ranged attacks, they can just stand on the other side of that bush and shoot us. So, I don't know which one's better. I don't either. I think, well, so, you know, we're going to be here and he's going to start here. So if we make a beeline here, that might not be good. <laughs> yeah. We might have to go that way. The issue is just that um, you almost want to get close to him early. So we kind of do want to beeline over to A. Just so, just so he doesn't do that much damage to us. Yeah. So that he starts with four instead of nine. For yeah. Instance. Well, and then I drew that times two. 
Yeah. That would have been like 20 points of damage or something like that. Yes. That was a bad one. It was a bad start. We never recovered from that bad start. Oh, I'm out of coffee. Sad. This character that I'm controlling now, like, I like her, but remember my previous character? I could do like 20 points of damage in one turn with that previous character. Yeah. And I can't do that with this guy. I mean, unless I draw a bless card. Yeah, my, well, this character is like actually, I quite like her. And I do pretty well with her, but I have to, it takes me a solid two or three turns to get going because I have to put all my summons out and things, you know? Yeah. So having to start quickly doesn't go super well. Whew. Well, at least we get a little bit of XP and some loot out of it. I did not get the loot because that guy stepped on it. I was going to get it. But I did get lots of XP because I much, always do. How much is loot worth? Two? It is worth three. All right. Nothing, I guess. I am now only 13 experience points away from level eight. But I definitely need to get more gold because I need to do some enhancements, clearly. Although the bomb, well, I didn't get to use the bomb, but the, the stamina potion this that was awesome because I got to keep going for a lot longer without taking a rest. So bonus for stamina potion. Yep. Okay. So <laughs> that was an exciting game, huh, guys? Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> I think we should start with, hey, everyone, it's your boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, your girl. Like all the YouTube videos? Yeah, hey, exactly. Everyone. No, hey, guys. <laughs> In today's tutorial, <laughs> we're going to learn how to suck not, up the <laughs> We're going to learn how to not win at Gloomhaven. Are there really only two of those guys? I feel like this one's even harder than that stupid escort quest. <laughs> well, the escort quest, once we played it correctly. Yeah, maybe we were, That's what I mean. Oh. It's harder than that one. Are we playing it wrong? I think we're definitely not, I mean, that we're, we're playing it correctly. We are playing it correctly, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's, it's rough, man. Like really rough. And not in a good doggy way. No. Rough. Are you sure I, I picked up this uh, chest? I think maybe I picked up the chest because that would explain how I had all sorts of money. Oh, yeah, yeah. I gained 30 gold. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start recording. <laughs> okay. Bye, everyone. Bye.